So this book is a world's first STEM fiction, cutting across the areas of science, technology, entrepreneurship, and management. So it tracks the life of a corporate executive who experiences ups and downs in all these areas, and but steadfastly focuses on doing the right things to emerge successfully in the long run. Actually, he has got a friend who is a seasoned entrepreneur who has experienced to all, exposure to all these cutting edge technologies, who is educated in US, who has done a lot of research in cybersecurity, biotechnology, and other emerging areas, and sets up a company in India and which grows very fast and becomes a global power. So in this, uh, 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 th this book is, uh, uh, is uh, uh, it, it tracks the interactions of this particular senior corporate executive with his uh, uh, high placed friends, with his best friends, with his uh, uh, bosses and uh, also the various uh, ups and downs he faces as uh, he uh, moves along in this uh, corporate uh, life. So it, it, has, uh, uh, it combines lessons from uh, mythology, biotechnology, management, entrepreneurship, and also the day-to-day -day issues that uh, we corporate uh, uh, executives at senior positions uh, face, like uh, posh, prevention of sexual harassment, etc., wherein a lot of times we get faced uh, with uh, cases uh, thrown upon them for whatever reason. Uh, so, and also it, it exp explains uh, this particular domain of Bosch and how they are handled in large companies. So it provides a tremendous amount of uh, education uh, to uh, people who are reading this uh, uh, book and also uh, uh, who need to know a number of these issues uh, because uh, this is now the necessity of our corporate life. Uh, it discusses the origin of coronavirus and how countries uh, across the world have handled the outbreak in the form of a discussion between the protagonist as well as his uh, best friend who is highly experienced and has done research in all these areas. So this is uh, uh, written in the time of uh, uh, coronavirus, but it is set in a post-COVID era. That means the COVID has already happened and it has already disappeared uh, from the world. It is uh, uh, in the form of uh, uh, the uh, you know bad effects it was going to have on the people's health, etc. So it tracks about how the particular coronavirus uh, uh, has started, uh, you know, what was the origin of that and how the uh, countries across the world have tried to tackle it and how uh, the uh, citizens uh, had to change and alter their lifestyle and adapt themselves totally uh, so that uh, they are able to manage this particular virus. And today you have seen uh, uh, in the news that uh, our honorable uh, minister Nitin Gadkari has said that uh, this uh, virus has uh, been has been born in a laboratory, and uh, also the WHO has said coronavirus is going to live with us for a long time. It may not be able to be er eradicated. But this book, which was written almost a month back, which I just seen the print, which actually has uh, you know, thrown light on exactly these particular conclusions, and uh, and discusses how all these things have come about and how uh, uh, you know uh, uh, with the proper rationale and a lot of uh, research and argument behind it. So that is uh, uh, the purpose of the book is to, uh, you know, analyze uh, the difficult situation that we are faced today in the world, thanks to this uh, coronavirus, which is totally changing uh, uh, the way we are actually interacting with each other, which we are living in our uh, corporate life, which is totally uh, given a totally new paradigm uh, of, uh, of our relationships, whether it is personal or corporate. And uh, I wanted to put in perspective with uh, by, uh, by uh, you know, doing a lot of research and also my exposure to all these domains in my 30 years of corporate life, wherein I got exposure to all these areas of biotechnology, of technology, cybersecurity, and weapons of mass destruction, etc. And also entrepreneurship and management. I wanted to put things in the right perspective because what is happening is uh, the, uh, you know, every day some new rumor will come, new conclusion will come, and new news uh, 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 will come. Because the way the virus has been going all over the world and uh, the way so many people are doing different types of research, different types of vaccines are being worked upon, different types of treatments are being uh, worked upon. Lacks of people are working to come out with different types of solutions. And they're also coming with different types of conclusions which are diverse, uh, you know, uh, which are exactly opposite to, uh, to each other. So this is confusing the people. So I wanted to put uh, whatever little uh, knowledge and experience and exposure uh, I have behind this particular uh, domain and uh, put everything in the right perspective uh, in the form of a fiction uh, 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 and also a discussion that happens between a lot of knowledgeable people 
uh, in a corporate setting. So that is the purpose of this book.